Hello, I am Roaring Bug, and welcome to my Sims 4 speed build. If you like this build, you can get off the gallery at Roaring Bug, all one word. My build is the same name as my video, The Flamingo Nightclub. Uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to reach me, you can at my various social media platforms in the video description. So, this build is something I did uh, some time ago. Uh, I, I'm kind of backed up on some videos, but I wanted to do something funky, fresh, and different, and not a house. So I did this community lot of a nightclub. I tried not to go too crazy with my packs. I think it only uses maybe a few packs. Uh, it's mainly, I think, Get Famous, just because Get uh, Get Famous has that uh, that vintage-looking movie uh, signage in the middle of the front of the build that's red. Uh, that's like a debug item that's in the game. Uh, also, I use curved walls, which I regret. <laughs> curved walls are not fun. And they are very glitchy and they give me such a headache to use because they have so many problems with them. Uh, if you place an object down next to a curved wall, you usually have trouble picking it up again, especially if you're trying to use alt and place an item just so because nothing snaps in a curved wall. Also, in order to put a flat regular wall next to a curved wall, you have to have the curved wall big enough in order to show like a flat side on it. Because if you make a circle big enough, it does have some surface area that looks like it's flat. But if you use the smallest circle, it doesn't have any kind of flat surface area, so you can't connect it to the rest of the build. So then you just have this circle that's disconnected from everything and I don't know if you've been following my channel but I've been making a lot of uh, base game Victorian houses and that's just my answer to the fact that The Sims has a terrible filter system. Uh, let's say you only have one or two packs and you want to filter the gallery for just those two packs you own you're out of luck. The gallery will just show you every build regardless of what packs are used. The only filter system that I notice that does work, and that's if you use a hashtag, is if you're using just base game. So I've been making a lot of, not to toot my own horn here, but I've been making some very gorgeous Victorian base game only houses. and. I find that they are a wonderful challenge and I like all the little fancy like nubbies and things that you see on the building that makes it look so grandiose. Frankly, if I dulled into CC, I could probably make those Victorian houses look even more grander because they just have all these little like tiny little pieces like like all these little like uh like intricate decorative pieces that you can't do in The Sims. Uh, but it's a style that you can really replicate in the base game. Uh, it's either like Victorian or modern actually. Uh, this style of build is more of an art deco style. So this is like a this is like a callback to what I consider like I don't know uh, an Art Deco roaring 1920s, 1930s, uh, golden age, Hollywood-esque kind of building. And I just wanted something that has that, you know, that, that vintage futurism kind of look that, you know, the glam that older builds had. And I think it really works in this like a desert setting in Oasis Springs because you know like like uh, like Hollywood in California is like a hot 
sunny place so like I wanted that kind of feel in this build and I put this parking garage in this build it doesn't always work if you if you're not putting it in this lot because not all builds have an empty space on the corner but you know I, I took full advantage of the location so I put this parking garage in the back I had so much trouble trying to do the color inside the house I mean this it's not a house in this nightclub because I just didn't know what color to make this build work so I ended up bringing a lot of the exterior colors into the house into the build so you know it has that aqua bluey green and that like pastel pink so I just tried to use a lot of those colors inside the build too but I didn't want it to be overpowering so I used a lot of white as the primary color and I just used like I said the exterior color is like an accent color inside so I put this little like bar area here I thought it you know it kind of rings true to the style I'm talking about you know like that art deco roaring 20s 30s kind of Hollywood glam feel and I just used a lot of this pink and bluey green color everywhere and I put the little stage area because I figure it'd be nice for like live entertainment uh, also like if you like gameplay where your sims play music if they're good they'll get tips for playing or singing so I like it because it has some it has some incentive to do things I mean being musical is worth something in the sims um, oddly enough it's not a career in the sims unless you get mods um, I've gotten a mod where you can make singing into a career uh, and it's interactive but you know you can play the way you want to play oh and I left my struggle with the stairs so I didn't have enough space to mess with the stairs in the front or backyard so I kind of messed with it on the roof and I had trouble closing off a fence railing around the stairs because of the curved wall and the curved wall was giving me such a hard time so I decided to forget having an open staircase because I thought it would look more glamorous if there was an open staircase but I was like you know what I'm having too much trouble with this I'm just gonna close it off and yeah I just did the method of drawing a wall and picking it up and putting it in place just because I was just having so much trouble with the curved walls affecting everything on the second floor when I was drawing off these rooms so this is just a small bathroom just because I'm trying to fulfill the, the lot requirements for this nightclub uh, so I just made this tiny bathroom and I just wanted everything to be pink because when else are you gonna make a pink bathroom and you know I decided to make the whole top floor that weird blue color and I did this little thing with the lights to try and make it look cool and interesting um, and I decided pink couches would be a nice accent piece for it I wish there was some like decal for fl flamingos but unless I go on like the gallery and get like I guess I could have gotten like some cheated pictures of flamingos but I try to like keep it at, with just the items that you can get in the game because uh, some people they, they make in-game pictures that their sims paint and it counts as regular paintings and not CC but you know it, it's really up to you which one to do but uh, I use these like pictures from get famous because I wanted that like I said that vintage Hollywood glam and now I'm just trying to do the outdoor lighting 
And this is when I decided to put the grid back on so I could make it symmetrical. And yeah, just kind of closing it off and just doing in some terrain paint just so that it looks like the build didn't just drop out of the sky. Uh, and I would have put in palm trees in this build, but I, I feel like that's just been overdone so many times. And, you know, you don't have to put this build in like a desert setting. You could work in a temperate like neighborhood if you wanted to as well and I just wanted to put some like outdoor lighting so it really like shines on the build so that concludes my build thank you for watching bye <laughs>